We're coming out from behind the glass tonight on Dick Balls News. I'm Richard Fenneman. And I'm Justin Balls. And this is Dick Ball News. Silence. Hot stuff. Bridge. That guy. He's Justin Balls. He's Dick Fenneman. Today on Dick Ball News, Joseph Stalin's questionable activities. Joseph Stalin, after declaring over 400,000 troops penal officers, started killing hundreds of thousands of prisoners of war. Going over to Lance Newscaster with more on this. Tonight I'm going to be conducting an interview with Alexander Vyshtalsky, a prisoner in the Gulag labor camps. He's going to be telling us a little bit about his experience. All prisoners, unlike any other... So, how long exactly were you in the camp? Well, I was in the labor camp for three years, four months, and five days, and I counted every single second of it. What were some of your experiences in the camp? There was a great aura of hopelessness and despair that really made the awful conditions even worse and insufferable even. It's a time and fallen from grace. You never think that you'd have to kill another man for a breadcrumb. What was the food like? The food was like diarrhea. And I have strong reason to believe it was diarrhea. Because one day I went to the party and took an ultra-large Dumpenhausen in it, and I looked down and saw that there was some blood in the part of a penny that I had consumed the day before in my insatiable quest for filling my appetite, and later that night, in my diarrhea of food, I found this same half of a penny, so I very much think we were eating diarrhea. It gave you diarrhea. So maybe that's why I'm thinking about the diarrhea so much. But the diseases were rampant that the food gave you. You could get cholera or yellow fever, or you could even get the dreaded dysentery, and you would be dead within weeks. <laughs> wow, very interesting. You say he rubbed his grundle in it. Well, uh, how exactly do you feel about the rapes in Nanking, about 20,000 to 80,000 women. Well, the most profound memory I have is of my best friend, Freddy, who played the trombone. And he was playing the trombone one night, and suddenly a large inmate came by, and who was sick of it, he obviously hated the trombone, and he just... How do you use your time now that you Well, I've started doing many things to try to keep myself busy and keep my mind off of it. Uh, I've started picking my own mushrooms and snowshoeing, and uh, I've really been a budding actor. And I've come here today to try to get my hands on your dick and balls. And I'd really like to see the connections that they have. This is Lance a Newscaster, bidding you all good night. Take ball, dude.